Hello everyone, my name is Holden Hardman. Thank you so much for joining us again for another video today. We're continuing some of the Superman movies with Superman 2. Now, when we watched Superman 2 with Matt a little over a year ago, the same problem arose with, are we going to watch Superman 2 the theatrical or Superman 2 the Richard Donner cut? And I was torn between which one I wanted to watch because I think they both have merits for different reasons. Then I was like, maybe we'll just watch both, but then will that be too much Superman 2 for the next couple of weeks? Will people even want to see that? So I left it up to the patrons. I put Superman 2 the theatrical, Superman 2 Richard Donner, or watch both and the Donner cut one. This might be a controversial opinion because for the majority of my Superman fandom, I have always favored the Richard Donner cut. I think in hindsight, there's a little bit of that it's because it's different, it's better. And whenever we get cuts like director's cuts or extended editions, they're almost always preferred over theatrical. This one, because it's so starkly different from the theatrical version, when I watch both, there's a lot of stuff in the theatrical that I do actually prefer. It, it's really tough for me to distinguish which one I think is actually the better movie. Richard Donner cut is probably the more true version because Richard Donner did the first one and this was like his intended continuation, so it's, I guess more in line in that regard, but the Richard Lester version is still very good. There was a lot of drama going on when this movie was made. Richard Donner ended up leaving. The studio brought in a guy named Richard Lester to finish it up, but Richard Lester wanted director's credit or the studio wanted the director's credit to go to him. So legally to do that, he had to have directed at least 50% of the film in order to get a director's credit. So there are entirely different scenes that create entirely different contexts, scenes that are straight up pulled out, entirely different scenes inserted in. So they really are two different movies, which is very interesting. I don't know of any other movie that would, actually maybe the uh, Zack Snyder Justice League, mm. which would ironically fit into this category too, of two very different films. The Richard Donner cut is probably the more serious version. It kind of follows a more serious tone like the original Superman. Richard Lester has a little bit more slapstick. It's a little bit quirkier. It's not over the top, but it, the tones are, are certainly different. So anyway, we're going into Richard Donner cut, Superman 2. How are you feeling going into it? Am I the only one that thinks that this is just like a weird situation? Almost the same movie, but two different versions of it. I know uh, the Zack Snyder situation was similar, but besides that, I've never experienced anything like this. Anyways, I'm really excited because I liked the first Superman movie, which was really just refreshing. It was nice to have like a, a good old boy. You know, I mean, him compared to Captain America. Captain America is like edgier than Superman. I'm really excited. I, I wanna see if the charm continues or if it dies off or if it changes. So I'm really excited to check this one out. I mentioned when we first watched Superman that uh, I almost prefer this more Boy Scout type of Superman. We're in an era now where everything is dark and gritty and uh, we talked a little bit about how when they were redoing Batman, they, you know, they made Batman dark and gritty, which I would say he probably should be. And then they also made Superman dark and gritty. And I was like, I don't, I think one of the things that makes their relationship so unique is that one is dark and one is like lighter. Like if they tried making Batman in like the 1960s Adam West Batman today, it probably wouldn't go over as well. But I think that there's a, there's a sense that this type of Superman is like needed. We need a strong, powerful, good and righteous superhero, you know? And um, anyway, I love, I love him for that. But before we get into the movie, we can't forget the, Comment of the day, day, day. Today's comment of the day comes from Mr. Tin, who says, always fun watching you two go through movies together. The Donner Superman movie is indeed the great grandfather of all modern comic book movies. Shame that DC hasn't reclaimed that glory in recent, in recent years. I agree, if it wasn't for really these first two Superman movies, I don't know if we would have the modern comic book superhero movie genre, well, at least not what it is today. Even if you don't like these movies, you gotta put some respect on Christopher Reeve's Superman. Let's go ahead and get into it. Superman 2, the Richard Donner cut. Today's video is sponsored by Wonder. Wonder is an app that lets you turn your words into digital art. Any inspiration that you have, you can type into the prompt and let Wonder bring your ideas to life in just seconds. We're watching Superman right now, so I put in a few prompts about Superman, and this is what it generated for me. You can choose different types of styles, like realistic, hand-drawn, anime, novelization, and several others to get the desired look that you're looking for. Just type out exactly what you want. Like for me, we'll type in Pikachu eating a cupcake. And I want that in a hand-drawn style. 
and this is what it generated for me. This is not bad. But let's be honest, once you start using this, we're gonna make some weird stuff. I wanna see the DeLorean from Back to the Future in a novelistic style. I typed in the book description of Smog from The Hobbit, and this is what the AI art generated. This is Smog. If Goku wanted to be Spider-Man, what would he look like? Well, he'd look like this. And one of the coolest features that they have is a reference photo option. I 3D printed a Terminator head when Jen and I were watching the Terminator movies. So I took a picture of that, put in a few prompts, and this is what Wonder generated. I did several with this because I thought it was so cool and I think they all look really neat. You can also enhance photos of yourself. This is a picture Jen and I took where we were showing off her baby bump. And these are some of the images Wonder produced after I was changing a few of the prompts. Wonder is great if you're looking for some artistic inspiration, if you're looking to bring some of your ideas to light, or if you just need some artwork. The premium version of Wonder comes with 20 different styles to choose from. It compiles the art much faster, there is no limit to the amount of art that you can create, there's no cap to it, and it's ad-free. I'll have a link in the description below for you to click, and when you do, I'll include a free trial of Wonder Premium. This is what you'll look like after you click that link and try out Wonder for yourself. And remember, supporting the sponsor helps support the channel, so make sure you go check them out. Aww. Oh. My boy Christopher. Oh. Not even 15 seconds in and we're already crying. Wait, so this is the last film that he was in? No, no, no. This edit was not done until 2006 after he had passed away. But he did oh. Superman 3 and 4. Oh, okay. Whose only means of expression are wanton violence and destruction. You remember this in the last one? Mm-hmm. General Zod, chief architect of this intended revolution and author of this insidious plot. Get it, get it, get it. You will bow down before me, and then one day, your ass! Forgive me. There goes baby Superman. Okay, so these are three people that are like floating through space, but who are they to the story? They were um, criminals against Krypton. They were condemned by his father though. Right, so. right. My guy's just oh. letting it all hang. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> I love when he drops yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Me falling into bed at the end of the day. Oh. <laughs> And that just makes him weaker, but like if he kept it on, would he die? It would kill him eventually, yeah. Why did you kiss me first? Because I don't believe in consent. That was the other way around, I'm just saying. And away we go. That wouldn't fly. But he does. <laughs> he flies. A lot of this stuff surprisingly looks pretty good. Uh-oh. What is that, like a black hole or? It's a yeah, phantom zone, like another. But it broke them out? Yeah, the, ex the nuclear explosion freed them. This is the, one of the biggest differences between this and the other movie. The other movie, they're like going on a adventure to Paris or Lois is reporting on this thing in Paris and there's like the, these terrorists and Superman stops an explosion and that's what frees them. <laughs> I love how they're just like floating through yeah. space. Fox when he gets out of timeout. <laughs> <laughs> I do like this version better because it, it more directly connects it with the first movie. Do critics like the Donner one better? I think it's generally considered to be the better movie. Uh, I was just pointing out that an argument could be made that this might be a case where the theatrical could be better too. Like yeah. the original Justice League was like pretty hated and then Zack Snyder was like more acclaimed. But with these two, they both are good movies. The city of New York, uh, Metropolis. Free! That was hilarious. I'm surprised that's not a meme. Clark, he's never around like Superman here. You know, there's some correlation between Superman and Spider-Man. Didn't Spider-Man also work for the newspaper? Yeah, the Daily Bugle. You certainly look like the cat who swallowed the canary this morning. A canary? <laughs> no. 
get the picture? Hmm. Very amusing. <laughs> uh, excuse me. This is a little bit of a pickle. Gotta give you credit. You really had me fooled. And I'm nobody's fool. Y you think I'm Superman? <laughs> Willing to bet my life on it. You wouldn't let me die, Superman. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Oh, nice. Good thing that's not destroying his glasses. <laughs> oh my gosh. Could have helped around that landing, though. Lois, what have you done? This was a scene that was not in the theatrical cut. They make Lois look a little too, like, insane that she would throw, like, literally risk her life, you know, throw herself out. Well, I mean, it goes to show how sure she was. <laughs> yeah. Oh gosh. Get to work. I like how lean everyone is in the 70s. Don't feel bad, Mr. Luthor. Except for Otis. Almost worked. He just flies off. Where? North. Why? The ski? Was awful. You can see his bald cap a little bit better in this high definition. To his secret. Trash of focus seeds, a bed with him. Pass it. I think he was in Ace Ventura. Well, all systems normal, Houston. Boris and I are engaged. Yeah, I had a feeling about you guys when I saw your Rorschach test. <laughs> <laughs> pretty. Mighty pretty. What kind of a creature are you? Just a man. A man? I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh my gosh. Maybe she did deserve to yeah, they don't, fly through space. They don't just send anyone to the Phantom Zone, you know? Fragile sort of life forms is. Yet. Yet. Oh, no. Well, it wouldn't work exactly like that. Poor Cosmonaut is just trying to do his job. He's oh too my dead. goodness. I'm out. Oh, no. I wonder what their the reasoning is for killing them, though. Them. Like, Maybe just because they can. A place called Houston. And we will A place called Houston. <laughs> I wish I could fly. Yeah, it'd be nice. I told you to. Wow. <laughs> Ugh. Little Three Stooges, mm -hmm. gaggy kind of stuff. Oh no. <laughs> oh, oh, poor Otis. What am I doing here? Why am I here? Is this philosophy seminar? <laughs> north, Mr. Spucker. Do north. And like the great falls eroding beneath me. And like the great falls, the bedrock of my life is eroding beneath me. Bruce Almighty. I can give you a hand if you have trouble lifting. Uh... Oh, no, of course not. That's like the Denny of it. Oh. That's cool. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, oh. They're a cute little duo. I'll be all right. <laughs> Why didn't you go before we left? That was two days ago. <laughs> Why doesn't the guy put up some pictures? Bring some bullfight posters. The virtuous spirit has no need for thanks for approval. What's that? Monstrous deceptions. Mm -hmm. Well. <laughs> well. <laughs> I think that I shall never see a poem as lovely as a tree. I like trees. So does your average cocker spaniel. Give me another one. <laughs> there were, however, three exceptions. Only three. None, the destroyer. Ursa, vicious, cruel, General Sark. His attempted insurrection 
was the most painful episode our people ever had to endure. And so they were placed in the Phantom Zone, be imprisoned for all eternity. On Earth, each of them would have the identical powers that you have. They would have the same powers mm -hmm. as Superman? Yeah, it's his power from the sun. All three with the same power he has. Too true to be good. Where's Jimmy Olsen when I need Golly. him? Golly, isn't it beautiful? Golly. <laughs> yeah, gorgeous. Everybody's holding hands. Uh, maybe... Oh, <laughs> such a precious soul. Uh, no, I've got, yeah, I've got, no, Clark, I, look, I, could, I look. You've got to look after yourself. Um, You've only got one pair of eyes, you know? Son? Son? <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Almost happened there, that little boy. <laughs> here you are standing in front of one of nature's most awesome spectacles, and you're thinking about food. Why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> oh, could I have some orange juice? Freshly, Freshly squeezed. squeezed. I know. Okay. I don't you know. You are a lot I like have. Lois. That's interesting. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe she hit that kid. She doesn't exactly seem like mother of the year. Oh my goodness. Oh, the rainbow, that's cool. I love how kids fall into each other. You're like, oh, rainbow, cool. <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> Made of the mist, that's where Jim Carrey was on Bruce Almighty. Yeah. Oh, Superman! What a nice name. Of course he's Jewish. <laughs> There's so much in this movie you couldn't do anymore. Uh oh. So this is Planet Houston. That's where you yeah, got it from. Yeah, uh, I say that every, every time we go to Texas. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Lois. See how his hair is so different because it was filmed at a different time. Just, just anybody mm. can walk in here. No, posing as newlyweds for the sake of a newspaper. His hair is different here too. Well, I didn't mean that. I mean, I'm sure there's thousands of girls. Who well, a few girls. Gosh. Now, come here. Look at what? yourself. Just look at yourself. His hair's different again. I mean, it's not my fault you keep putting yourself down. Just look, you slouch all the time. Mm. Here, stand up straight. And some shoes that don't lace up and a bow tie that doesn't look like a letter opener. All right, Lois. All right. <laughs> Gosh. No matter how hard I try, I just mm. never will be him. Him who? Why would Superman be in Niagara Falls today? And why is it always when I'm with you until Superman appears? And then you seem to disappear. Well, I looked over at that hot dog stand and you were gone. You weren't there. I was... Nowhere. Throwing yourself off a building? I made a mistake. I risked my life instead of yours. Lois? Oh my God. D don't be insane. Don't I have to... Oh my gosh. Don't be crazy. <laughs> If you'd been wrong, Clark Kent would have been killed. Was it blank? Got him. Gotcha. Just because it doesn't kill him, I mean, I'm sure he would have been able to tell the difference between a blank and... Yeah, if anything, he would have been able to see it. Like, he, he's just yeah. going to be able to see bullets come out. In the theatrical, he, like, burns his, like, puts his hand in a fire and there's no damage, and that's when she starts to realize. Oh! <laughs> that's not right. The snake probably wouldn't have been able to actually puncture the skin of a Kryptonian, though. But wait, wait, wait. Aww. Well, cat's out of the bag. Yep. You know, I don't know how I would feel about this if I was Superman, though. Yeah, he wanted her to love him as Clark. Right, you know. but she only wants Superman. He's like, you know what? I'll take Whatever, what I can yeah. get. <laughs> I love that pink underwear, you know. Like, this is fine. Uh, this is a very special place for me. I wanted you to see it. I don't think she looks like Monica. Maybe a little bit. Monica Geller. The look of them, I'll bet $10 they're from Los Angeles. <laughs> I mean, it's a pretty yeah, good assessment. Yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> it'd be a good guess. I like the globe. It flushes red like our Krypton sun. <laughs> oh, skunk sweat. <laughs> a weapon of some sort. Holy skunk sweat. <laughs> oh, that's cool. And these three new arrivals bring destruction in their way. Town gripped with fear. <laughs> no. Who else is seeing this? Just about everybody. I mean, the whole planet. The whole planet, Houston? 
Earth. As the extraordinary story <laughs> oh. Crackers. Oh, that poor guy. Uh, yes? Yes. This is like the Nazis showing up. <laughs> More like Fox. I do believe they fornicated. Wow. Good for him. He's got to always hold back, though. What? He's got to always hold back, though, you know. Why? He will kill her. If he squeezes too hard, he'll break her little bones. I think it'll, it'll be fine. Maybe she's into that. Well, I'm just saying for him, he can't really, he can't, like, go ham. That's why some people argue he'd be better off with, like, Wonder Woman who could take a pounding. I mean, Lois is, like, he's too aggressive. He kills her. Or paralyzes her or something. In return for your obedience, you will enjoy my generous... That's daunting to think about. Oh, him and Wonder Woman, though. I answer only to the president. And he will answer to me. There's Holden in the background. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my man's making sure he gets the shot. What? Oh, my gosh. <gasps> my son, I have tried to anticipate your every question. This was one I, I'd hoped you would not ask. Feelings. Which Aww. I had developed for a certain human being. You cannot serve humanity by investing your time and emotion in one human being at the expense of the rest. Is this how you repay their gratitude for the sake of your selfish pursuits? Selfish? So it's like the Jedi rules, basically? Yeah, he's saying, well, not exactly. He's just saying you can't take care of everyone if you're trying to take care of just one person. So he's saying he can't have both. Yeah. This crystal chamber as in the harnessed rays of the red sun of Krypton. All your great powers on Earth will disappear. Oh. I love her. Well, let's hope she loves Clark Kent after all. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Like, what if he did all that and then that like repulsed her? Yeah, it's like, oh, you're weak again? Is she gonna say anything or? No, she's just watching. So one thing I'm not crazy about, there's really no like, real reason that he, like, must do this. Falcon! She stinks. Yeah, she smells like outside. Really? <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> I see you are practiced in worshipping things that fly. Rise before Zod. Kneel before Zod. You are not the president. No one who leads so many could possibly kneel so quickly. <laughs> I'll kneel before you if it will save lives. It will. One man here on Earth who will never kneel before you. Who is this imbecile? <laughs> oh God, Zod! Jeez. Oh, so he actually went through with it. You given up? Yeah. See, there's no like real concrete like in movie reason why it was necessary. Like why can't he be like, well, no. <laughs> oh, diners. Like, like traditional old school yeah. diners. I love them. It looks like Martin Scorsese. Sorry, that's his take. It is now, sweetheart. Ew. Your seats in there for us. That's mean. Excuse me, sir, would you care to step outside? Clark. I said, excuse me, sir, would you care to step outside? After you? Clark. <gasps> wow. Clark! That was a low blow. You all right, fella? Blood. Oh, yeah. No, been... Oh, crap. He probably shouldn't have done that. He's never been hurt before. Maybe you ought to hire a bodyguard from now on. Oh, no, Clark. I want a bodyguard. I want the man I fell in love with. I know that Lois. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I don't want a bodyguard. This guy. Oh. Is... 
Honestly, you gotta be a real capital P to, to sucker punch somebody. I don't like your beat anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Clark? Oh. He's never had to like dodge things before, you know? This human thing kind of blows, Lois. <laughs> I hereby abdicate control over this planet. Doesn't have authority over the whole planet, I'm just saying. General just Zod. America. Superman, can you hear me? Oh. Superman, what? Who is this? Superman, come to me. Uh-oh. Oh. Well, crap, what's he gonna do? <laughs> yeah, just... Good job, Lois. Okay. Lois, this is your fault. I blame her. Hello there. Hello there. Lex Luthor. Uh, her pants have holes oh, yeah, in them? Oh, yeah, got a big old slit in there. You've heard the name, the greatest pants. criminal. Wait, you get to know me better, will you, please? We have all of this without you. You cannot bargain with what you don't have. Oh, magnificent one, the son of jor -El. Our jailer. No, jor the baseball player. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> How do you know of jor or oh, my fullness? <laughs> my fullness. Before. I'm about the best there is. Revenge. Revenge! <laughs> <laughs> Need to get you some gloves, Clark. I failed. Failed you. Failed myself. For a life of sub submission in a world that's now ruled by your enemies. <laughs> oh, jeez. Listen carefully, my son, or we shall never speak again. You have made a dreadful mistake, Kalel. In spite of all I could say to dissuade you. Now you have returned to me for one last chance to redeem yourself. I have anticipated myself. <laughs> he just comes with all kinds of plans. I died while giving you a chance for life. The son becomes the father. The father becomes the son. Farewell forever, Carnell. Wait, so like his life energy is gonna give him his powers back? Yeah, like the whatever was connecting him, the consequence will be he won't be able to talk to him anymore. Oh, all right. Oh. There you go, patch you right up. <laughs> I will say they didn't answer that in the theatrical. He just like leaves and like comes back and he has his powers again. It always drove me nuts. Cause it was always like, how did he get his powers back? At least, you know, they had something here. No, no, there's three of them. Oh. Oh no. Sorry, all these offices. We got Bane here. Oh. <laughs> 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 Lois. Yeah, he walks through the door. <laughs> Jimmy. Oh no! Oh, man. <laughs> He's the son of Jorel. No, but I'll bet you're a son of a Jimmy. You just hold on that little lady, and uh, you'll be along. What an undemanding male this Superman must be. <laughs> General. There he is. Haven't you ever heard of freedom of the press? Thank God. <laughs> Kneel before Zod! Was that a picture of Bill Cosby up on the wall? We were beginning to think you were a coward. It is extremely likely you are merely a fool. Like father. Like son. Then die as you deserve to! Man, this is going to be good. The boat that's filming them, mm -hmm. the trail from the boat. Yeah. Oh. You hit a woman. He actually cares for these Earth people. <laughs> yeah, he puts it back. Clark. 
Jeez. Oh, no. I want to get out. Ooh. Well, that's pretty good. You need to get a Superman suit. You would look good in that. Thanks, babe. You get a Wonder Woman one. We'll have a deal. All right. That was a good shot. Oh. <laughs> Come on, we'll yeah, show we'll you I know some judo. Did you see that? Mm. Oh no. <laughs> oh, that's the guy on roller skates. Good shot. Uh. So, he is a coward after all. Come on, let's go. Son of Jor-El has fled. Superman fled? I don't believe you. The next time we will kill him. <laughs> the next time. Why do you say this to me when you know I will kill you for it? <laughs> <laughs> Eradicate the only man on earth with... Let me kill him. Superman's address. They're riding on their backs. Lex Luthor. Lex Luthor. Your turbulence. Your turbulence. <laughs> Your powers are identical to mine, but we are three. Grab a leg and just make a wish. <laughs> the death of others means more to you than your own. Yes, with rare exceptions. Oh, man, don't! Stop it! All right, Todd. Your Grace, uh, don't believe him. You don't know him the way that I do. I, I filled your inside straight. You came to me with nothing. What? I gave you Superman. Guys, and Claude, you always told the truth. Guy always knew where he stood with you. Try to get them all into this molecule chamber here. Turns them into ordinary human beings. Don't go in there, General. It's a trap. Luther, you poisonous snake! Seize him. <laughs> Lex Luthor, ruler of Australia. Activate the machine. Ruler of Australia. Did Lex Luthor do something? Neo. <gasps> oh, I thought he was grabbing his junk for a second. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to run out here while he was safe in there. Oh, nice. You're a real pain in the neck. We'll, we'll work on that smack talk later. You know what? You're a real jerk. I don't know. That's kind of a line you would say. You would say it's a pain in the neck. Lying weasel like you. Well, that's different. It's a chance. I know I owe you one, but we're in the North Pole, right? We can still see each other, you know? I mean, but it, it just can't be. I mean, he could be with her. Spider-Man had this problem too. Also it makes her a target, you know? People know that they find out that they're together. Home sweet home. A little curl in his hair. Maybe I won't be quite so mean to you from now on. Your secret's safe with me. I know. If you were Superman, I'd keep your secret. Thanks, sweetie. Oh, this is sad. See you, Lois. He literally hit it and quit it. Well, he tried to tried to lock it down, but you know, shoot. 
they were going to kill everyone on the world. Like and They're still going to work together, so, I mean, he's going to brush his teeth and smoke. <laughs> Man, different time. Yeah. That's cool. That's cool. Uh-oh. A little bit of a different ending there from theatrical too. So he just, like it, nothing happened? Pretty much. There's all kinds of time travel problems with what he just did. Like why didn't he do that to begin with so they would just go back to the Phantom Zone? Because they're still alive there at the end. They wouldn't, you know, time reverse. They're in the Phantom Zone again. So we're back to her just having suspicions. Right. And technically the uh, Fortress of Solitude would have come back then too. And jor -El. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Get it together, Clark. <laughs> I feel like I'm sitting on the single most important story of my career. Pizza. Now? Yeah, I'm hungry. Oh, no. Uh, actually, Lois, I don't think... You're a lot like Lois. Why? Just oh, because I not. like food? You know, you're really super. Oh, this <laughs> guy. Play out differently. Oh, that's the other thing about this. Because nothing else happened, they never got into this skirmish. Right. So if anything, <laughs> just yeah. Superman coming in and just like beating this dude up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, with no context, he's really he's picking just, on he's him. He's just going in there. In the theatrical, it, everything still happened. Please, so this makes more sense. It cost me a fortune. Yeah, just fix this joint. But no, he didn't. It would have all been fine. This order's to go. Oh. Wow. Up until that, it wasn't too terrible. So this is only $37, sir. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we just finished watching Superman 2, the Richard Donner cut. What did you think? I actually liked this one. I love that they focused a lot more on Lois and Clark's like feelings or relationship. I'm a little, in the beginning, I was a little concerned about how they were portraying Lois because they were really hitting home that like she only wanted Superman. She really didn't care for Clark at all. But towards the end, they kind of turned that around a little bit. I think my favorite thing about this movie was that we got to see Clark slash Superman really at his lowest as like human with no um, powers. I was shocked at how beat up he really was. I appreciated that. I think that's important for both Superman and Clark's kind of character development. There was a lot of stuff going on in this. Obviously what's going on with Superman, but then we had the trio running loose on Earth. They were really fun to watch. Very out of the box, didn't care about destruction in any form. It was, it was a fun little twist to have them involved. And then we also had Lex Luthor, who was very much self-interest only only care about what happens to him and looking out for himself. A lot of stuff happening at the same time. <sighs> Was it a little too much? Maybe. I, I would have been fine with just Superman and the, the trio or Superman and Lex Luthor. I don't think it was necessary for all three of those storylines to be going on at the same time. It felt like Lex Luthor was just an afterthought, that they had to have him in this in some form, and that's how he came out. I think it looked pretty good. The first one looked good as well, but this one really hit home that there were a lot of scenes that I think looked pretty good for um, when it was filmed. I don't like what they did with Superman giving up his powers and then him getting them back from his father's like life force. I, I still don't even really understand how that's possible. I don't know, that just kind of takes away from the fact that he gave it up. And honestly, I think it's still valid the reason that he gave it up. He wanted love. And um, I know that him and Lois officially are not are not together at the end, but um, he still loves her. So I don't know if I liked that. I think that they should have probably gone the route of he was going to, he was intending on giving his powers, and then before he did, he came to his senses and realized that he shouldn't, you know, to each their own. And then I also did not like the ending where 
he reversed time and nothing actually happened. I wish they would have just left it as all the events happened and that's where they were. You know, um, him and Lois, they came to the conclusion that they couldn't be together and that would have been it. I, I'm not really understanding why they did that. Other than that, I still think it was like a really fun flick and more than anything, I love Christopher Reeve as Superman. He is such a lighthearted character, soft-spoken, generous, sweet, all those qualities and it's, Again, a very different tone from all our other superheroes. I really like that and he's quickly, I think he might be my favorite actor playing Superman. And I know that like the other, has there been more than one that played Superman? Brandon it's Routh, but we will watch that movie next. Okay, but I know the other Superman movie that we watched was a darker tone, but I really like this version of Superman. And I'm thankful that I got to see this because I could not have honestly imagined what that version of a Superman would be like. Now that I got to see it play out, I love it. I love it just being kind of very like happy, lighthearted, boy scout. I love that. So that's probably my favorite thing about this movie is just watching Superman do his thing and having his character as Clark and Superman. They're really not that different, which I appreciate there's subtle differences, but all in all, he's the same guy. I appreciate that. So I really ended up liking this movie. Well, I am really glad that you liked it. After watching it again, there's so much that is different from the theatrical cut. They really both have pros and cons. I'd be really interested in at least watching the theatrical cut, whether we do it for content or not. Because I like the ending of the theatrical, I think, more. In this one, he does the thing where he rewinds time, and we're getting those time travel problems where they even have a scene where you see them return to the Phantom Zone and they're off again, so they, they're they not dead. So it begs the question, why didn't he do that to begin with? If he That might have been something that he knew that they didn't know that they could go back in time. They hadn't experimented with their powers long enough, but uh, he could have reversed time then and just sent them back to the Phantom Zone. And then the part where he comes back at the end of the diner, where he's like, I just got this place cleaned back up. There, it, it's a totally different new timeline. So in the theatrical cut, all the events happened, uh, and it's still a problem because I like your idea better, where it's just, that's just where they are. They can't be together, Lois wants to be with him, and can't, and that's the sad part of the end of the movie. Maybe they didn't want it to be sad. In the theatrical cut, he like, they have this whole conversation back at the office, like the next day where, She's like trying to move on and trying to, is giving some attitude about the situation that they're in and how it's unfair and everything. And he kisses her and does some sort of Superman power and makes her forget that he's Superman. So, and that's like, oh, he could do that. He kisses somebody and he can wipe their memory. But that's what happened in the theatrical cut. But uh, I almost prefer that over this, because at least that, while it's like, I, I guess he can do that, okay. At least the events happened. Whereas this one there, it's kind of, will rewind time and the thing, the effects we need to take place will take place because the story demands it. Even the, the moment where she realizes she does the gun thing and shoots him, the part where she like jumps out of the, uh, the window, even the opening with the bomb or the missile from the first movie releasing them from the Phantom Zone. I, I actually really like the whole Paris sequence, which we don't get in this movie at all. So there's definitely pros and cons. We didn't have that yellow cellophane S. Uh, the fight sequence in the theatrical is a bit longer. There's like more stuff and dialogue that goes on between Superman and General Zod and whatnot. But overall, I really do like this movie. It's got a soft spot uh, in my heart, uh, for sure. What would you rate this one? He just plays him so well. And the fact that like that can make me enjoy the movie that much just based off of his performance, I think says something. I think with the ending, what they were going for was this sacrifice that he made on his end, you know, kind of saving Lois from uh, being aware that they couldn't be together. So I, I get why they would do it, but I think I would appreciate just the fact that, hey, this is, it doesn't work out all the time. Like sometimes it's not a happy ending or the way that you want it to work out. I would have appreciated that more, but all in all, I think this was like, again, a fun film. We had a uh, good old boy as far as like our superhero, just, I guess what I would imagine is a superhero. Lex Luthor, he was in the first one and I liked him in the first one, but in this one, it felt more like an afterthought, like I said. So I think I'm gonna go with a, uh, I'm gonna go with an eight. That's fair enough. One of the big additions to the Donner Cut was Superman going back to the Fortress of Solitude 
and having that discussion with Jor-El at all. None of that was in the theatrical. That was one of the big like selling points of this movie. There's all this Marlon Brando footage as Jor-El that was never used before. I think it might have been some like test screening footage they used and, and incorporated into this. But in the theatrical, a big annoyance of that was that he has the same problem of like, once your powers are gone, they're gone forever. Uh, in the theatrical cut, his mother is there too and is, is talking to him about loving Lois, you know, which is a different dynamic than like a father telling a son, don't do this, you have a responsibility versus a mother who understands the, maybe the more emotional side of the love, whereas Jor-El is more of like the logical side. And that's not in this movie and that's a shame, I would say. But in the theatrical, he literally just leaves after being told, you'll never get your powers back if you make this decision, it's huge. And then he just returns as Superman and they don't actually explain how he gets his powers back. So I always thought that irritated the heck out of me for the longest time. And then in this one, at least there's like a confrontation of like, okay, you want your powers back, there's a sacrifice. I'll imbue my essence into you to give you back your Kryptonian skin cells. But in return, you won't, you won't have any access to the source of knowledge and our vicarious relationship, even though he's really dead, uh, will be no more. And so at least there's some kind of trade off back and forth in this. So I did appreciate that, but still not ideal. For me though, this movie carries a lot of nostalgia. I love it. I really go back and forth on which, whether I prefer the theatrical or the Donner cut. But uh, for me, this movie is pretty high. I'm gonna give this one an 8.5. But of course, these are just our thoughts. We'd love to know what you guys think down in the comments below. So comment down below. We'll definitely check those out. If you did enjoy this video, leave it a like. It does help the channel out a lot. Subscribe, you'll be notified. We're gonna do Superman Returns next, Brandon Routh. It is a continuation. It's more of a true sequel. There is Superman 3, there is Superman 4, The Quest for Peace, but they are just so different in, in tone, in quality, in everything. It's really bizarre how, how different Superman 1 and 2 and then 3 and 4 are. But Superman Returns, I think, is like a more of the spirit of the first two and in that continuity of, of I know it's in, the, it's in the future a good bit, but it's still within that continuity. Check out Patreon. You can watch these videos before anyone else, usually without ads until I publish them. But for now, that is it. Jen and I appreciate you watching. We'll catch you in the next video. Take care.